Hey guys, Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews. Wanted to quick go over the Makita 36 volt chainsaw. It's the XCU03 chainsaw. Now, this chainsaw from Makita is currently their top end uh, chainsaw that uses the 18 volt batteries. It uses two 18 volt batteries and it comes in a kit um, with four, four amp hours and a dual charger. You can pick up that kit for around, I think it's in the three to $400 range. Um, I got mine off an eBay daily deals for, I think it was like around 340, 360 in that range. And I ended up replacing my um, DeWalt uh, 12 volt saw, a little bit smaller saw than this one, but yet bigger than the Makita top handle. Uh, that they sell for about 200 bucks. I got that one on a Home Depot clearance sale for about 100 bucks. It was a pretty good saw, um, but just running the end of its life there, I want to pick up something new. So anyways, the Makita 36 volt saw here. Um, some cool stuff about it is that I like how the batteries are equipped. So I've got two batteries here and they go in just like so, and really helps keep the balance of this saw. Lots of nice safety features on the saw as well too. So you hit power, and then you have to hold down this, and then you can turn the saw on that way. Uh, one thing I don't understand why Makita keeps doing is, on all the batteries, you have four bars to let you know how full your battery is. But on all the 36 volt tools, you literally have three bars on here. And this is never really that accurate. Um, I've seen times where they go into one bar, and I've got three bars left on the battery. I've seen it sometimes where it says, you know, three bars still, and sometimes the battery will say three bars on the battery still. It, it doesn't really make any sense. I wish they just had four bars on here and four bars on the battery. That'd make a lot more sense for what Makita does with these tools and giving you the accurate battery information. Um, well, is this, with this tool, probably one of my biggest complaints with the tool is um, DeWalt does it fantastic with keeping the basically the bar on and the chain adjustment um, where it's got basically two large knobs that you can turn it's fantastic on the DeWalt's on this Makita I don't like how they have this system here this is okay so you gotta loosen up again but to adjust the bar tension after you loosen this up it's like this tiny little wheel in here and it's really hard in your finger to move it yeah it, it does a decent job of what it does um, but if this is full of chips in here, it, it makes it really hard to adjust this properly. And probably the worst feature and worst design on this Makita chainsaw is right here with the bar tension. Just doesn't make any sense. Really difficult to do. Not really sure why Makita did that. Uh, but other than that, the chainsaw itself works fantastic. Of course, I've changed out the bar and chain now a couple of times. Um, I wish this lever here on the, uh, oil reservoir here with a little bit bigger. Uh, I generally have to grab a tool because it, it, once it gets, you know, it's sucking oil out of there. This is really, really hard to turn with just two fingers in here, which was a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't have to grab like a screwdriver or something like that to get that off. It can be a little tricky to do. Uh, but if you're considering a battery powered chainsaw over a gas one, I would say we're now getting into more of like the mid-range gas. I say lower mid-range gas is what these are now comparable to. Um, checking out um, Project Farm. Um, looks like he gave the new DeWalt 60 volt saw is pretty much your fastest saw money can buy right now. It's actually not a terrible deal to be right around you know four hundred dollars or so. Um, runs on the end of the 60 volt flex volt batteries. Um, fantastic system i don't have too much really of the dewalt flex volt at all most is on the dewalt 20 volt myself right now um, but when it comes to the batteries i, I think makita is definitely doing it right using a, a dual battery setup one thing that i've seen from a lot of guys who own like the milwaukee m18 fuel chainsaw is that if you're really pushing these cordless saws hard you're going to overheat either the tool motor itself or you're gonna overheat the batteries. And by having two batteries, you could say it really shares a thermal load between two batteries better than just one larger battery, like I've seen in the M18 fuels. I'd rather run two fives than I would rather run a 10 amp hour single battery in these chainsaws, because you can overheat these batteries really, really quick. I always have them using this chainsaw hard. I'll get these, I'll get these batteries down to about two bars, and they're probably overheated at that point. I'm gonna start getting the chainsaw to flash and tell me, hey, your batteries are overheated, swap batteries. 
so I can pull these batteries out, throw them on a charger, grab another set of batteries, throw them right on there. Now, having used an M18 fuel chainsaw myself, just from what I've seen from other YouTubers, other videos, and a few friends that have it as well, too, that it does overheat pretty quick. Not saying this chainsaw hasn't overheated on me. I have had this chainsaw overheat on me a couple of times. I'm in Central Florida. It's pretty hot here. Um, so getting this chainsaw hot really, really fast is definitely um, something that happens quite often. Now, I haven't really used the new DeWalt chainsaw. I don't really know anyone who has it yet. So I'm not sure if it has the same issues as most of the cordless chainsaws with overheating, but I'm probably sure it does. Until they add definitely more cooling to these saws, you're not gonna see, you know, gas performance. You can run the saw just nonstop really hard as long as you got gas for it. Um, that's probably one of the biggest differences with a cordless chainsaw going from a gas chainsaw. Now, if you're like me who I need a chainsaw maybe once a month, I'm cutting up logs that are going to be only about, you know, the size of this blade I've got on there. I think this is like a 18 inch blade on there right now or 18 inch bar and chain. That's about all I need to do with it. I've taken down some, you know, 20, 30 foot tall trees in my backyard, in my front yard. It works fantastic. Not to worry about gas or um, starting it or the carburetors in it or anything. It just works every time. And, you know, adding bar and chain oil isn't really a, a terrible thing to do. It, it's just, it just works, you know, it's not a big deal. But other than that, that's about it for this Makita chainsaw. Um, never really had an issue with it so far. Um, of course, it's, you know, very battery hungry. I, I would say you're going to need four sets of batteries to run it nonstop. Um, that's changing out from one or two chargers, just swapping batteries if you want to run it nonstop. And, you know, give it some time to cool off for once in a while and you'll be totally fine with it. Um, you know, the Makita bar and chain is okay. I would definitely recommend changing it to like saying like an Oregon or something better. I noticed some definitely uh, performance improvements with this by changing it to a better bar and chain right off the bat as well too. Uh, but other than that, um, definitely keep uh, checking out this chainsaw. I'll get some more videos posted of me using it here and there. But leave a, guys, leave a comment below guys if you've used this chainsaw in the past. How do you guys think about it? And what chainsaws we definitely test out in the future. So alright, take care guys. Have a great day.